Hi, I'm Tim with Hawk. The LightDeck Mini Algal Toxin Testing System makes it easy for you to measure algal toxins accurately and quickly. This instructional video will show you how to properly run samples with the LightDeck Mini and its disposable test cartridges. The LightDeck Mini ships with a 100 microliter fixed volume pipette and 28 disposable pipette tips. Each box of disposable test cartridges includes 25 test cartridge packets and one USB flash drive that contains a definition file for the cartridge lot. Within the packaging for each test cartridge, you will find a cartridge, reagent tube, and desiccant packet. Each test cartridge is designed to measure microcystins, nodularins, and cylindrospermopsin simultaneously. All of these materials will be used in this tutorial. Before preparing your sample, please ensure your Light Deck Mini is plugged in using the included external power supply. You will also need to install the Light Deck software on your Windows computer and connect your computer to the Light Deck Mini using the provided USB 2.0 cable. Instructions for how to perform these tasks are included within the Light Deck Mini user manual. Let's begin. Open the Light Deck application. Click Import. And then take the USB drive that was included with the test cartridges and put that into a USB port. And click the local file option. And go to the USB drive. And then select the CDF XML file in that USB drive. and we're successful. Now we're gonna put in the sample information. This is going to be helpful in making sure that we collect the right information on the particular water sample that we'll be analyzing for algal toxins. We're gonna start with the sample ID, which could be anything for that particular sample. In this case, we're gonna call it River 10. And then um, who collected the sample? and then the operator ID, the collection date, and any comments on that sample. And then once all that information's in there, we'll click accept. And now we're ready to run the sample. Next, open a test cartridge packet with the included pull tabs at the end of the packet. And inside of that test cartridge packet, you should find the test cartridge, a tube with the reagents at the bottom of the tube, and one desiccant packet as well. Each test cartridge is going to have a associated barcode, a cartridge ID number, and then also a blank space down at the bottom um, of the cartridge where you can put the sample identification information. For this particular sample, I'm going to put R10 for the 10th river sample in this, in this particular example. And then when you're ready to sample, we're going to take the 100 microliter fixed volume pipette, put on a new pipette tip, and then transfer 100 microliters of sample into the tube with the reagent. Once that sample has been introduced into the reagent tube, we're then going to use the pipette tip to mix that sample 10 times by, by aspirating with that pipette. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that 10 times, keeping all of it within the reagent tube. And then once the sample has been mixed 10 times within the reagent tube, We're going to transfer the sample to the sample port on the test cartridge. And the 
sample is now ready for analysis with the analyzer. Return to the light deck application in which you've already input your sample information and click the button labeled ready to open the door on the analyzer. The door will remain open for 30 seconds. Once the analyzer door is opened, insert the cartridge into the light deck mini. If the door closes before the cartridge has been inserted, click the ready button again to reopen the door. Once the cartridge has been inserted, the Light Deck Mini will automatically begin sample analysis. The rest of the test is automatic. After 10 minutes, the sample's microcystin and cylindrospermopsin concentrations will be displayed within the Light Deck application. Click Done to release the cartridge and remove it from the analyzer.